You see all these cords and doodads? These all get hooked up to my body. So this is what's up right now. I am uh, in the parking lot of uh, the sleep study tower because I'm getting a sleep study. I wasn't going to vlog this experience, but I saw that a lot of people replied to my tweet when I tweeted about it. And then I thought, perhaps this can be a shared experience. Basically, I have like a sleeping issue where sometimes I wake up being like, <gasps> which, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, that's apnea. So the doctor was like, prove it. And I'm like, sure. And that was two years ago. And now I'm finally doing the sleep study. So it's about 9 p.m. I'm set to arrive. I will go arrive right now. And I am reminding myself that I parked in green zone B. Da, 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 da. You got to bring your own stuff to the sleep study. Also, I haven't done anything with that cutout yet. Yeah. Basically, I'm here from 9 p.m. until 3 p.m. tomorrow because I'm supposed to take daytime naps also. Ah, and I just realized I think I forgot... Did I forget my book? Oh my god, I totally forgot my freaking book that I've been saving this whole time. That makes me so upset. <sighs> Upon exiting the building, I realized I parked in the wrong structure. Who knows, maybe my book will somehow magically be in the car. It's not. I know that. I'm very disappointed. And now I have to move my car. This sleep study is off to a great start. Okay, okay. <laughs> Another part of prepping for the sleep study is you're not allowed to have caffeine, no coffee, no tea um, from 12 p.m. on. So I drink a lot of caffeine. I'm going to go ahead and say that the lack of caffeine is why I forgot my book, you know? Can sanitizer. Oh, what a convenience. So I'm in the hospital now. Um, here's my room tour. Wow, that's the bed. This is the door. It smells like a hospital. These are some machines. Oh, cool. La la la. That's the camera that watches me sleep. So better not masturbate. Is this warm? <laughs> you see all these cords and doodads? These all get hooked up to my body. So I am halfway done with the test. Uh, the instructions said to bring food, but I didn't remember to remember. I didn't read them. I didn't read the instructions. So I'm taking all my wires and walking to the cafeteria. Four, three. <laughs> wow, it's two buildings away. Oh, glorious sunlight, daylight. Hello. Oh, it feels so good to be alive. Yeah, here come the weird looks. Okay. I literally feel like I look like I'm, I'm trying to escape the hospital. You know, or like I'm a robot. There's a small child up ahead I don't want to startle. I want coffee so bad. If you ever really, really want to test your self-control, be denied caffeine for 24 hours and then go stand in line at a Starbucks waiting for a sandwich. Then you will know truly the... I can't even think of how to end this sentence. Caffeine is my lord and I am its humble servant. Eating my sandwich outside. I may be sleepy, but I'm a rebel. Four naps later, I'm done. This is the goo they use to keep it on my face. Look at that. Wow, weird stuff. It's like a paste, but also an adhesive. Anyway, results won't be for like a week and a half. And so let's cut to a Hannah at a later date to tell us what we learned. Thanks, Past Hannah. Good news is we have the results. I just got them. I'm heading home right now. Don't worry, I'm not driving. See, one hand's holding a camera. I am a passenger. Safety first, kids. Especially when you are um, slightly narcoleptic, turns out. So my official result is that I have idiopathic hypersomnia. That means that I can fall asleep at any point throughout the day. My results for taking all those naps was that in about eight, 12 minutes, I fell asleep every time. 
which is why I have idiopathic hypersomnia. Because apparently, other people don't just fall asleep whenever they're presented with the opportunity. I mean, honestly, I can fall asleep right now. So what do you do? Nothing. I was talking with the guy, and he said that the treatment is to put people on stimulants. But guess what? I'm already on stimulants for my ADD. Then he talked to me about whether or not he thought ADD was real, because a lot of people with ADD also are hypersomniacs. So then he's like, is it a trouble with focus? Or do you have trouble focusing because you're sleepy? These are the thoughts. Welcome to the modern era. Who knows anything about what? Good news is, no apnea. Huh? So, yay. Thanks for coming on this journey with me, everybody. If you like this video, click like. And if you're sleepy right now, let me know in the comments below. Do you think you have idiopathic hypersomnia? Maybe you need some vitamin D. Maybe you just need some water. Anyway, whew, gotta take a nap. Have a great day. Mwah.